Data engineering is the most trending job in the tech industry right now. These roles have grown in popularity because of the need for usable data for ML, data science and AI applications. If you're somebody who's looking to break into data engineering in 2024, the path, however, is not straightforward. This is because of the number of terms floating around in the data engineering space and also because of the versatility of expectations from a data engineer. As someone who's worked in data engineering for two years now, I was curious to know where data engineering is headed to in 2024. This is why I decided to take a data-driven approach and scrape 1000 jobs from LinkedIn. These jobs include the roles, responsibilities, title, location, salary range, and so much more. All of this information is available for analysis and our goal is to find answers to six simple questions from this data. Number one, is data engineering even popular? Number two, do you need experience to break into data engineering? Number three, what are the most in-demand skills that are needed to break into data engineering right now? Number four, what is the average salary range of a data engineer? Number five, what are the common responsibilities associated with a data engineering role? And last but not the least, are there any certifications that are expected for these job roles? So without any further ado, let's get started. For the data set, I've specified the most common data engineering titles such as data engineer, database engineer, data architect, data and integration engineer, and so on. I've also given a couple of locations. These are basically the top cities uh, in USA where you can expect data engineers to get paid the most. Once that is done, I run the scraper to collect job role details and descriptions. Awesome, that's done. Now let's download it to CSV and we have our data set ready. I've uploaded this data set to GitHub and it's open source. So if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. Next, let's check how many postings we have. So let's run this. So we have a total of 959 job postings. So that's approximately a thousand job role information. Now we could perform EDA on this data set, but let's take a shortcut and see if ChatGPT is able to answer it for us. I'm uploading the data set. Hey ChatGPT, here I have a list of data engineering job role details. Can you help me answer the following questions from this data? Let me paste the questions here and enter. ChatGPT does our job for us. A few moments later. ChatGPT was able to answer these questions. Now let's go through them one by one. For the first question, is data engineering even popular? What is the distribution of data engineering jobs in USA? For this, ChatGPT gave us a bar chart and it looks like this. And we can see that a lot of postings did not have any specific location. San Diego and Austin had the most number of data engineering openings followed by Seattle, Philadelphia, New York, Atlanta, Boston, and so on. So yes, I guess data engineering is popular after all. Now moving on to the second question. Do you need experience to break into data engineering? For this, ChatGPT just plotted the number of repetitions for the word, junior, entry level, mid-level manager and director. And it looks like there are quite a few postings that have the keyword senior in them. These job postings were mostly based on senior level positions. Quite a few positions where entry level was specified, mid-level, and then yes, the second most number of mentions were, the, were for the term manager. I see that ChatGPT also has the education level specified in data engineering job listings. If you are somebody who's looking to apply to these job roles, you would be needing a degree. So that would mean a bachelor's degree, master's degree, PhD and diploma. And I guess a bachelor's is mostly preferred when you're trying to enter data engineering. And yes, of course, a master's as well. So do you need experience to break into data engineering? Most of these postings do specify that you require a bachelor's and that would be sufficient. Moving on, what are the most in-demand skills in data engineering? I guess this is the fun part. So for the skills, 
Python, SQL, Java, Scala, AWS, Azure, Hadoop, Spark, Kafka, Docker and Kubernetes. These were the top skills that were with the most number of mentions. SQL, Python, AWS are the top three skills that you would need in order to apply to these job roles. Followed by Azure, Spark, Java, Scala, etc. Cool. So yes, that's what ChatGPT said. SQL appears to be the most mentioned skill, indicating its importance in data engineering roles. Python and AWS also have significant mentions, showcasing their relevance in the industry, followed by Azure, Java, Scala. Other technologies like Spark, Kafka, Docker, and Kubernetes are mentioned, but less frequently than the other skills, but I guess they're important too. Number four, what is the average salary range for a data engineer in the United States? For this, ChatGPT was not able to provide a proper estimate. I did some analysis of my own and I find that typically the average salary is about $115,000 in the United States, which is pretty good. Moving on, what are the most common responsibilities associated with the data engineering positions? For this also, ChatGPT has given us a bar chart with the most number of mentions for keywords. And I guess most of them are aligned towards developing, designing, managing, implementing, maintaining, analyzing, supporting, optimizing and collaborating and testing. So these are the most used terms. So if you're looking to break into data engineering, I guess you should have some experience doing all of these. And finally, what are some, some common certifications expected in these job roles? It looks like most of these job roles need some big data certification, data science certification, machine learning certification, AWS certification, and Azure certification. If you're already learning skills related to these, then I guess you're on the right path. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you're somebody who's looking to break into data engineering, or trying to do a couple of projects to build your profile to break into data engineering then that is something that i will be making more videos on in the coming days so consider subscribing i'm sanjana and i'll see you in the next one bye